Well, now we move to a decision from a former Victoria's Secret model who stunned the fashion world by giving up her career. We're going to talk to Kylie Basuti in just a moment, but first, her story. Three years ago, at the age of 19, Kylie Basuti was one of the sexiest young models around. Out of 10,000 contestants, America voted her to be a Victoria's Secret runway angel. Kylie had worked modeling jobs for years, dreamed of becoming a supermodel, and this was her crowning achievement. So don't be ashamed to wear your crown. But eventually, Kylie was ashamed. It definitely made me feel like I was being made to sell sex. As seen in this Victoria's Secret video. We talked about outer thighs, we talked about making your butt rounder. Kylie admits she was consumed by a pursuit of fame and physical perfection. Well, I really just started to feel exploited uh, and sexualized. Eventually, Kylie followed her faith and took a bold step. She quit. Giving up the promise of a lucrative career, Kylie moved with her new husband to find a more centered life in the small town of Big Fork, Montana. She came to her convictions going, I don't want to go down that road anymore. Um, I don't feel comfortable, uh, you know, dressing half naked to sell clothing. Kylie now counsels other young women about following Christian values, and she tells her story in the new book, I'm No Angel. In a statement, Victoria's Secret said in part, Ms. Basuti has made numerous fabrications and misstatements of fact regarding her brief association with the company. But Kylie's pastor says her story rings true. It's really uh, the story of someone who is pursuing fame and success and money, realizing along the way that those things were not going to bring her the kind of satisfaction that she was hoping for. And Kylie Basuti is with us now. Her new book is I'm No Angel, From Victoria's Secret Model to Role Model. Kylie, good morning to you. Good morning. You Thanks are from a me. little town in Nevada called Jackpot, and you must have kind of felt you had won the jackpot <laughs> when your modeling career took off. Was that your yeah. lifelong dream? It was my lifelong dream. Mm -hmm. And when did you start feeling like this was inconsistent with your values and your faith? Well, you know, it was a slow, gradual process um, over time, but it really uh, revolved around modeling lingerie. Um, that was the pinnacle of my decision, um, you know, being seen by other men in lingerie uh, when I have a precious husband at home who should be the only one to see me that way. You, you say that it, that it kind of dawned on you that essentially you weren't selling lingerie, you were selling sex. Exactly. Um, that's my perception of it. Um, I believe that the modeling industry as a whole really exploits young girls. Were you late to come to that realization? I mean, you look at watching you walk the runway on a Victoria's Secret runway, and I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty clear what, what modeling is about in some ways. Yeah, it definitely is. and. Um, I'm just thankful that God changed my heart, um, you know, earlier on rather than being uh, five or ten years down the road of I sh runway modeling and lingerie modeling. I should say that you won this Victoria's Secret contest in 2009. You walked the runway. You participated in a swimsuit catalog shoot. You beat out a lot of other young women mm -hmm. for this. But Victoria's Secret has said, and we just read part of the statement, that you were not, a, you didn't have a long relationship with the company. And it goes on to say, in 2009, Ms. Basuti won an online amateur modeling competition. Mm -hmm. Hasn't worked for us since that year. The prize for winning the contest was the unique opportunity to a one-time walk in the 2009 Victoria's Secret fashion show. I guess the company's kind of suggesting that maybe you're uh, overstating your relationship with them in mm -hmm. order to sell books. What would be your response? Um, my response is all the truth is in the book. Um, my book's really not about Victoria's Secret. It's about the modeling industry as a whole and about helping girls with self-body image issues, eating disorders, um, and really exposing the entire industry for what it is. It's not targeting their brand. And you, and you talk mm -hmm. a lot about some of the things that you witness that are pretty shocking what other models were doing, the pressure you felt yeah. to be incredibly thin. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, there was um, intense pressure um, on me and I know on many models around me to be incredibly thin. Um, I went as far as doing crazy crash diets to drop the weight after my agency had called me um, fat and told me that I needed to lose weight off of my thighs and hips. 
and um, I did very unhealthy things to lose the weight, but I was told if I didn't do it, I wouldn't book jobs and become successful. Do you think these experiences were unique to you or because you were just coming up and you hadn't been a huge success yet and mm -hmm. that it, it that would get better once you were, I guess, a, a more successful model? I mean, is that what you were wondering? Yeah, you know, the whole time through my career, I always thought, well, one day this is all going to pay off. One day it's going to, you know, change for me. But I realized it never really changed the way I thought it would. And as I saw more and more girls collapsing after runway shows, hospitalized because of eating disorders, um, I realized it wasn't just my experience. It was everyone in the entire industry. And to choose to live out your faith in this mm -hmm. big, bold way, was it hard to, to, to make that decision, but also to give up as something, you, as you said, was a lifelong dream as well? Um, you know, the amazing thing is, is I felt total peace um, about my decision, and now I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, I don't regret any any decisions. I'm just so happy now. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. Kylie Basuti, thank you for being here and sharing your story. Thank you so Again, much. Again, the book is called I'm No Angel.